Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing how I went viral on TikTok. I was always like, okay, I'm not doing this. This is so lame. And then one day I downloaded it and I got sucked in. I've been making TikToks on and off since like the beginning of this year. At the beginning of the year, I had 50,000 followers just from like previous TikToks I did like literally forever ago. I have almost 300,000 followers on TikTok. Now, I like literally love TikTok. I think it's so incredibly fun. They're usually funny and there's different sounds and different trends every single day. So about two weeks ago, I had my first viral video. I was over the moon. It was actually a video I had posted a month before it started getting attention. So that, it, to me, it's just really weird because I thought that a viral video always had to be like the day of. And it just randomly started getting viral. It was so weird. My biggest tip for doing well on TikTok is to find your niche, what you do, what people want to see from you. The thing is you can never predict what's gonna do well and what's not gonna do well, so you just have to try a whole bunch of stuff. Like before this, I did like stuff about Fisco girls and then I was doing like trends with my friends. So realizing that this video did well, I then, I kind of started thinking, okay, so what drew people to this video? And I was like, maybe it's the fact that it's something that other people would wanna do. Maybe it's because it's girly and it's got like the whole like salon thing. Maybe because they looked really pretty. So I kind of decided to make my TikTok more girly and fashion-y, stuff about hair, makeup, outfit ideas, that type of thing. Ever since, I've been getting videos with about 200 to 100,000, and then I have obviously some which are just like 50 to 80,000. Find out what you think people your age and who you find, what they're gonna want from you. Because if you think about it, there's so many specific TikTokers and they always do one thing. There's like that girl Riley, and she always does like the POVs. And then there's like that one guy who does like the uh, white mom's so you have to find what your hook is gonna be. But until then, I would say just keep doing the trends, keep seeing what's happening, but always put your own little twist on it. And there's no way to really predict what's gonna do well on TikTok, so just do it all and just see what happens. Also, one big tip is don't delete videos from a long time ago because my videos from like six months ago have started to do really well because of that one viral video. People go back and watch them. Even if there's a video you're not like the proudest of, I wouldn't go back and delete it. You can always learn from it and it can always do. I remember one one time during like January, I was seeing stuff about Halloween and I was like, why is this? But like, it was on my For You page. My like biggest tips for growing on TikTok actually would be always, always, always do what's trending. Cause if you go through the For You page, then you'll find different sounds or different jokes or different point of views that are trending in the current day. And the trends literally change up every single day. So it's really important to do a trend, but you need to have a different twist on that trend. So don't just do the exact same content that somebody else is doing. Use the sound and create a different joke or a different story or put your own little twist on it because people really love original content. Like I literally hate when I'm scrolling through and I see the same joke like literally 12 times. It makes it so unpleasant and kind of boring on TikTok. So we like to spice it up that way. To be consistent, once you find kind of your trend and what you're gonna do, write down a list of ideas so that you never run out and every single day post talk. The cool thing is that they have drafts so you can literally film a bunch of TikToks all in one day and then draft them and then set an alarm for your phone every day at 3 p.m. and post a draft from your TikTok. That's what I do. I usually will film five TikToks in one day and then throughout the week post them. Being consistent is a very important thing. The algorithm will pick up on it and they'll realize how consistent you're being. This could be once every day. This this could be once a week, but as long as it's reoccurring and it's at the same time, it counts as consistent. Always have good lighting, because your camera that you're filming with is usually the back camera, so the camera's not as good, but what you can do to make it easier to watch is have much, much, much better lighting and always make sure you're in the sunlight and the lighting is coming from behind the camera, but that's just a technical tip. So cool. Another thing that I've noticed specifically for me is the videos that I put more work into and the videos that are prettier, better lighting, overall just like better videos. Those ones always seem to do better. I guess it's just the specific people that watch my TikTok want to watch something that looks pretty. That's just a personal thing for what I've noticed does well with my specific followers. And just have fun with it. I used to think that TikTok was only for dances or POVs and I'm not really a good dancer and I mean I guess I could be a good actor if I tried. But since then I've realized there's literally so much you can do. So if you don't follow me on TikTok already, um, go follow me. I'm about to reach 100,000 followers. I'm so excited. Another tip for content that I would say is 
smile. If you look at all the famous dancer TikToks like Addison Rae or Charlie D'Amelio, they always look really pleasant. And in the case of Addison Rae, I noticed she's always has this big teethy smile on and she always starts her videos with a smile. Now because you wanna come across as friendly and welcoming, Speaking of Addison Rae, um, this is gonna be a short little intermission. We were at Playlist Live and we were at this water park that Playlist had rented out for all the creators. This really friendly dad came up and he started talking and we started talking to him and I'm not sure how it went, but eventually we figured out that he was actually Addison Rae's dad. And so we asked him where they were from and they actually surprisingly have family literally five minutes from where we are right now. Later on in the night, Actually, Addison came to the water park and so we got to say hi to her and be like, oh my gosh, like we live so close to y'all's family. She was really friendly and really sweet. But it's just really an interesting thing. Like the world is such a small place once you actually wrap your head around it. And that's on TikTok. Yeah, make sure you go follow me on TikTok and see what content that I post. And so maybe you can get some ideas from that because I personally like doing comedy. It's kind of like my niche that I engage with a little bit more because that's just the content that I like, therefore I want to produce that same content. We're gonna throw a party with Jasmine and Lily. Joss. Cause quarantine. Okay, Lily, so I'm thinking balloons, of course. Yes. I'm thinking a cake. A healthy one. A whole cake? Oh, a healthy cake? A healthy, a healthy looking cake. We don't, I don't wanna make it though. That's way too much work. I'm thinking hats. Yes. And I'm thinking the boop things. Brr. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What if like instead of a cake, we did something more iconic, like a bowl of fruit. No, what if we just did like a donut? Wait, what if we just did coffee? <laughs> put candles, wait, what if we put candles in, in it? In our coffee, oh. coffee with marshmallows instead of cake. This is exciting though, and he's getting I know! We're you. back again at HUV. <laughs> did I already come here this morning? <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Liv, we gotta keep this fast. You don't want anyone to see me. Why? I don't want to get uh, paparazzi. Oh my gosh. Cupcakes over there, you can get a little pink cupcake. Annie, what if you did soap cookies instead? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Okay, these are the best cookies ever. Two? One, two, one yeah. Three, one for me? Yeah, I'll have this thing of that one. Oh, would you want that one though? No, I want pink. <laughs> B-roll. Look at all this party stuff, I'm dead. It's backwards, hold on. 100. Annie, Annie. <laughs> is this, is this we need them. <laughs> <laughs> I get them, I actually get them. Those are beautiful. Which um, noise? I like these ones. These ones yeah. are super aesthetic. Yeah. Oh, look this at is going to be one heck of a party. Sure. All right, coffee time, guys. You know the best one. I just got to find it. Okay. Is that my sweater? No. Oh. Actually, no, not this time. Yeah, she always wears my clothes. I love how it's always like, annoying little sister wears older sister clothes, but now it's like, older sister wears little sister. Hashtag not annoying older sister, coolest older sister ever. Oh my gosh. TikTok won't know what hit them. She was really scared to do this, so I made her do it. Yeah, she was. She tried to make me do it. But I said it's your video and your balloons and your TikTok, so you have to do it. We're home! <laughs> oh no! I know! They, they were ended so up beautiful. upside down. You get the wig. Yay! This is your big day. You turn around. That 
is so good. Okay. Thanks for watching! Ching!